big guys to make big plays. Some guys don't have it in them. It's that. It's just that simple. Tyler Lockett didn't have it in him. He did not have it in him. It's that simple. DK showed up, did his thing. Gino did his thing, and then did did Gino Smith shit at the end of the game and lost it for he lost it for them. It was nothing against anybody on that Seattle that Seattle Seahawks uh, offense. Good game, Dallas. It came out on top, forty one thirty five. Um, this game, I would say nine times out of ten goes Seattle's way if regular things happen. It's that simple. All right. Well, we shall see this upcoming week, especially in regard to these two teams as the 49ers play the Seahawks and the Eagles play the Cowboys. So um, all four of us are going to be looking forward to those two games. Now, moving on, guys, to the last game that we're going to highlight. It has been mentioned earlier, and it was the game that was on Sunday Night Football as the Packers beat the Chiefs 27 to 19. Javon, I'm tossing it to you first on this one just because you have been the Jordan Love advocate. I said have. You are not currently the Jordan Love advocate. Thank you, Sean. Because three weeks ago, you gave up on Jordan Love. You jumped ship on Jordan Love. You said, you know what? I don't care anymore. I give up on you. You tossed him to the side. And now he is looking tremendous as the Packers upset Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. So, Javon, are you regretting giving up on Jordan Love? Never gave up on Jordan Love. I gave up on the Packers because I continue to bet on them, and they were uh, I, I, I will find that. I will find that clip, find and I will clip. prove find you it. wrong. But go find ahead, it. find it. Jordan Love, man, just call me that so Raven because I can see the future. Try to tell you guys about Jordan Love, man. <laughs> Try to tell you guys, man, about Jordan Love. That's my. As our cousin Mitri, you know, he's a pack, fellow Packer fan in the comments. Um, it was that it was, you know, I picked the Packers. How the Packers in this game. Um, you know, Mahomes has been looking a little little shaky. Uh Khalil, he did DM me right after the Niners game. I was like, hey man, congratulations. I know it's a big win for you guys. Like, you know, I mean, you know <laughs> another day, another week, another weekend out of the office, but he did tell me he was like, "Hey man, like the, we're gonna, we're gonna beat the we're gonna beat the Chiefs tonight." I was like, "Ah, you know, it's Mahomes. I picked them, but I wasn't confident in you know them kind of going out. You know, had a couple calls go their way at the end, but the Packers have kind of just like in the in recent weeks, they've kind of been jumping out to these leads like fourteen nothing, like 21-7, 14, Uh, they were I think they were up at halftime, and you know on the on Thanksgiving when they jumped out to that lead against the Lions, a lot of people were like, "Whoa, like." What's going on? Like, and they're, you know, these are quality wins that they have. You kind of look at their wins and you're going through it like, man, like these are some good teams. Um, Jordan Love, I mean, this is his first real season as a quarterback. So, you know, there's going to be some ups and there's going to be some downs. So there are going to be inconsistencies um, with this team. But I do think that the Packers have found a franchise quarterback. I'm um, a guy who can, you know, win you, you know, big games at home. Uh, in, in prime time, this is a Sunday night game, so everybody was watching. Taylor Swift was at the game, so everybody was saying there's no way the Chiefs lose, right? Um, and ultimately, you know, the, the Chiefs kind of – they try to, you know, make – Patrick Mahomes had a, a really bad pick, you know, late late in the game. Um, and it kind of was just like when you have to go through certain things when it comes to – you know, making plays without having a Tyreek Hill at the end of a game or when you don't, when Travis Kelsey isn't able to make, you know, consistently consistent plays throughout the game and you have to rely on guys like Marquez, Valdez, Scantling to make big plays, it's not possible. Um, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot harder. I get the Chiefs are the defending champs um, of the National Football League, but I don't know if most people besides, you know, Kansas City fans believe that the Chiefs are going to go back to the Super Bowl. Are they going to make it out the AFC? Are they the best team in the AFC? I don't know. I'm not sure. They're 8-4 right now. Um, I think this is the first real time we've seen the Chiefs look human, if that makes sense, because pretty much to everybody else, they're like, oh, they're this big, they're this gauntlet, you know, they're Galactus, they're they're Thanos out in the AFC, and like everyone's kind of like, who's going to beat Mahomes? They're usually favored in almost every game that they play in, for the most part. 
Um, and kind of for them to go on to, you know, Green Bay, which is a place where Patrick Mahomes actually never played. This was the first time he played in Green Bay, which was a shocking thing to hear. Um, and then Jordan Love just outplayed him, playing point blanks, period. I thought they ran the ball really well. A.J. Dillon was getting um, a bunch of carries, and he was uh, a big factor for them. I get K- or Kansas City had some injuries on defense, but I feel like KC had a, ch- a bunch of chances to win this game. Um but they, you know, had too many mistakes, and the Packers kind of came out, and they handled business. They still on business last night, you know. And I think the Packers are going to make the playoffs. I'm going to come out and say it now. Packers are making the playoffs. All right, guys, I'm tossing it to you next. What did you think about this game? Was it more so the Chiefs lost it with lackluster play from Patrick Mahomes, or at least not to his standards, or was this more about the Packers who seemed to be rolling? I think the Packers handled business at home. Um, it's that simple. Uh, the game came down to a couple questionable calls, but you, again, when you're a good team and you're playing against a team that's, that's got some fight in them, you can't leave it up to the officials to decide the outcome of the game. And that's what happened to the chiefs. You know, there's a couple, there were, don't get me wrong. I think we all watched the game. Um, there were a couple plays where I'm, at the end of the game. I'm like, Oh, that's PI for sure. hundred percent PI didn't call it. Why, why are you in that position in the first place? You are the Kansas City Chiefs, okay? Arguably the best team in the AFC outside of the, the, the Ravens right now. But you know what I'm saying? You're, you're the Chiefs. You're, you're the, the, the defending Super Bowl champions. And you're going into Lambeau, which is somewhat of a hostile environment. It's, it's a tough place to play if you're not used to the cold. But they're from the Midwest. They're used to the cold. It's all good. Um, and you can't seal the deal on this game. The Chiefs did not prepare enough for the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers did what you guys did and came ready. They're like, no, nope, yeah, we, we we know it's coming to town. We, we know it's the Chiefs. We know it's Mahomes. We know it's, it's Taylor Swift. She's in the building. You know, Travis Kelce. And they prepared well for it. And for the first time all season long, like Toddy said, their run game didn't look bad at all. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. No Aaron Jones, no problem. Jones, yep. AJ, AJ Dillon, you know what I'm saying, doing, doing the thing. You know, and, and then – uh. Just just watching Kansas City try all their cute shit. Well, when you do that, you know, every week, you're gonna have a week or two where that don't, where it doesn't work. And it didn't work. Um, I had a bet that I think Kadarius Tony's line was like nine and a half yards or ten and a half, something like it was something super low. I'm like, all day Pfft. put you know, 10, 20, I don't, 10, 15 bucks on something stupid. I'm like, let me let me get that real quick. He had zero yards. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Those games. Yeah, you know, and, and, and he does, he does. But I'm just like, this is easy money. Pacheco getting ejected at the end of the game, you know, right? I honestly, I I kind of defended Pacheco because he was just he was he was mad about the situation they was losing, but it it wasn't like he was just attacking a guy. He got put in a really weird situation, and he responded that you know, kind of how your guy, how uh, uh, Dre Lo- Greenlaw did, and you know, it just you did too much, a little too much, you know. So- and it stood on business and um it, it just comes down to the fact that, the, that i think green bay just prepared a little bit better it's a hey, it's our home turf okay um you're coming here we know who's on your squad we know the the publicity we're gonna get with taylor swift and you know and we know when taylor swift goes to games that travis kells has these great games not today it's, it's not your day they this week, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. This was a big stood on stood on business week. I know that that term or that that phrase get thrown on a lot. It's, it's a very popular phrase right now, but it's it's real. Y'all did it, man. I wouldn't say Dallas necessarily did it, but Seattle's DK did it. Stood on business, candle business. You know what I'm saying? Uh, tonight, Cincinnati stood on business, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's it, Drake Browning. Damn, damn, they played perfect. I think he had two two uh, touchdowns, no interceptions, 300 plus some odd yard, you know, whatever. Um, in in one against Trevor Lawrence in, in, in the Jags, even though he went out, he still did the majority of the work. This is just one of them weeks, man. And Green Bay was that team that was like, Yeah, come on, come to Lambeau, let's do it. And they they came out on top. Green Bay gets nothing but respect for me. Every last player on offense and defense did exactly what they needed to do, and that win was legitimate. 100%. All right, Kevin, close us out. What did you think about the Packers beating the Chiefs? Before I get into that, Toddy, you lasted an hour in the in the gear, man. I appreciate <laughs> it. I didn't think you were going to last that long, but I, I knew it was coming, dog. You, you were talking for a while. I knew you was sweating, but talking more about Jordan Love, 
like Tani said, he, he stood on business. Jordan Love came in here and he is on track to have just more yards and touchdowns than Aaron Rodgers in his first full year start. So did the question is coming into this season, did they find their franchise quarterback? And the answer is yes. But talking more on the Chiefs side, we talk about this week in and week out. The receiving core is just abysmal. We have, besides Rasheed Rice, and, Rasheed Rice and Travis Kelsey, it's nothing. We talked about Tony, uh, Tony having zero yards. Uh, Marquez, Fantley, Scantling, Val- Valdez, Scantling had two yards with two catches for 25 yards. This receiving core is abysmal. We are not finishing drives like I talked about with the Eagles. It comes down to execution. And if you're just going to keep putting up field goals, you're going to keep giving this team confidence that they can play with the Super Bowl champs. And just because we're the Super Bowl champs, you're going to get everyone's best game. And Jordan Love and, and Christian Watson, Jalen Reed, uh, Romeo Dobbs, we talked about A.J. Dillon, where they're missing their best offensive player in Aaron Jones. This is like the youngest offense in the NFL today. So they have this great defense to lean on, and this offense is only going to get better. We saw them struggle early, but – they're, they're coming up to play, and I wish Toddy wouldn't have been like Kevin and turned in his uh, parking pass, but you know what? There's always next year, Toddy. Parking pass. <laughs> yeah, just like just like Kevin turned in his Justin Fields parking pass for the presidency of the Justin Fields fan club. Uh, that's still to be determined. Um, and the only thing that I'll say for this is Jordan Love in his last three games since Javon gave up on him, 857 yards, eight touchdowns, zero interceptions, Three and zero record. That's You're pretty good. Back, Tommy. She sure was. As we continue here. On-